Okay, this is a quick screencast to show you the layout I have for my workflow. Um, using Eclipse, everything loaded is projects. Um, I use workspaces so that I can organize the areas, uh, the projects in different areas. So we have um, core, will be this area here. Object store, the viewer sits down here, the different viewers, wicket is these yokes. I think we have a screencast or some details about how to install this. Um, here's the example application. I'll show you how I run the Quick Start, which is the, the to do application, and also Estacio, which is the app that I'm working on with Yeroon. So, um, both the DOM projects, this guy here and this guy, have got the Data Nucleus plugin for Eclipse. Um, and in addition, um, what we, what I tend to do is to uh, set up a shortcut for the IDE launch scripts, so that, which are down here. Let me show you how that works. So if I go to the web app project for, say, Quick Start, you can see we have an IDE Eclipse launch. And so what I do is I right click and I assign working sets. And so I assign those to shortcuts. So they're just down there and easy to find. So my workflow for running with the Quick Start to Do application is really just to right click on here and uh, run as or debug as the application. Um, this launch script is running um, a thing called web server which is an ISIS file that's basically the same as the wicked start on Java. It runs a, a, an embedded jetty within there. So that's just starting and Data Nucleus is set up to run automatically uh, for this particular project. I could sort of show you that if I right click while well, that starts up. Uh, Data Nucleus enable auto enhancement. So any changes I make to the to do application are automatically picked up. That started quite slowly. I think I'm doing something else in the meantime. I guess this screencast. Okay, that's running up on uh, localhost 88 slash wicket will take me to the app. And then with Eclipse the incremental compilation, any changes I'm oftentimes these are um, picked up automatically. So that's um, how that works. I see something is running, it's getting very slow, it's not normally quite as bad as that. <sighs> Have I got a break? Maybe I've got a break point. Maybe not. Okay, here we are. Don't know what that was. Okay, this is running without fixtures set up, so I would normally then go install fixtures and return first. And I've got myself some data then to play. My, my fan is running, so I think something's happening in the background. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, with the with the Estacio application, it's a little bit more complicated. Um, it's the same general idea. The only thing is because we've got quite a large application, what we've just seen to is that the nuclear sensor doesn't work reliably. Um, you can see we've got uh, quite a lot of classes here, about 40, 45, 50. Um, and so what we do with Estacio is um, we've taken to running the enhancer manually, <clears throat> which is a bit annoying. Um, you can see it's turned off there. Um, but having said that, uh, what, uh, the, the enhancer is actually a, um, a, a configuration that can be saved, so it's a, a matter of run history one. So if we do that, then that's going to run the enhancer. So it just becomes a sort of a muscle memory type of thing. If I want to run up the Estacio application, I, I just run that first if, I, if I've made a change. Um, and then again, I have the shortcut set up there so I can right click. And, uh, and start. Actually, for these guys, um, they also seem to be set up in the in the favourites. I can start that there, and that will start up in the same way. Now he definitely starts a bit slower because he's got lots more classes to to load with. But that's basically my my working setup. And as I say, a lot of the changes that one makes within uh, Wicket um, get picked up automatically. Set up. So there we are. Okay, but well, that was helpful.